Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together they are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey, what's up? I'm Benjamin, and today I'm going to be making a First Order Stormtrooper from Star Wars The Force Awakens, and it's going to be made out of cardboard and some random miscellaneous household stuff that I got for the cheap, so let's do it. I found a really good picture front and back, head to toe, of a Stormtrooper suit. Definitely going to start with the base clothes, which is going to be pretty simple, black clothes, and then it's just white armor pieces on top, which I think I'm going to make mostly out of cardboard. The helmet's going to be the big one. I want to make sure I get it right. And then blasters, got a couple options for the blasters and the rifle that he has. But very first thing is going to be the clothes. Okay, so first thing is a pair of black sweatpants. Got these for a few bucks at a discount clothing store. I got a black turtleneck, same deal. It was about three bucks, I think, at Goodwill. He has kind of some ribbed texture, so I have this dress. So I'm gonna end up cutting that up and using it in pieces throughout the suit. I got some gloves. These are black work gloves from the 99 cent store. And finally, I have some dress shoes. I couldn't find any that were white, but I got these ones, have a good shape, and I got them for about six bucks at Goodwill. But I do have to mask off the soles, because those remain black. Okay, so first I'm gonna lay down some gray primer that's gonna just kind of prepare this material to get spray painted white. So while those shoes are drying, I'm gonna move on to a little bit of the detail we gotta do for the clothes. So I have this dress and I'm gonna cut it up because I'm just gonna glue them right to the joints so that those are what's gonna be seen through the armor pieces. Okay, so I'm finished up with the base clothes. Moving on to the guns, we have a handgun blaster and then I'm gonna make one of the rifle blasters and I'm gonna use a toy blaster that I got at the 99 cent store and it looks pretty Star Wars-y as is. I gotta play with it at least once because once I paint it, I won't be able to play with it. <laughs> and then I have a toy gun here. It's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do some modifications to it, but just a few. I have a toy walkie-talkie here that I'm gonna glue on the top. And then on top of that, I have a uh, Ninja Turtles pen that I'm going to use for a scope. So I'm applying masking tape to the blasters in all the areas that I want to remain white because I'm going to then spray paint them black. Now these aren't the right shapes, but they're close, and so I'm going to be taking some liberties with the details so that I get the right style. The next step is going to be figuring out the body armor. So I got some boxes here. Whoa, that is a big piece of cardboard. We're going to make the chest piece first. So what I'm doing here is I'm bending the cardboard along the corrugation. If you notice, it has like a natural bend to it anyway. So I realized as I'm making this that I need to put it on my body, kind of measure it to how it fits, take it off, do some cutting, some alterations, because it is a very snug fitting piece. I've got the back piece here, and then the front piece, starting to look like something. Oh yeah, my head doesn't fit. That's cool. So I'm gonna have to put a seam down the back. Wow, am I that skinny? That's so tiny. Wow. <laughs> to keep the back seam closed, I'm gonna be using some clips um, off these luggage straps that I got at the 99 cent store. Cool. And now it's time to put some of the details on. He has like little clips on each side, so I'm gonna be using clothespins for those. I got this pack at the 99 cent store. I always like to try to use actual things to make the detail rather than just drawing it on. I feel like it gives it a little bit more texture and depth. Some of this line work detail I'm gonna be doing with tiny strips of tape. You could use duct tape or really any kind of tape, but once I spray paint them, it'll show that detail, so it'll look really sweet. And there's pouches. I'm gonna be using these little plastic containers that I have. And I also have some EVA craft foam that I'm probably gonna use for some of the details. I'm working on this back piece. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's a tube shape, but there's another box element to it. I think I'm gonna use this index card case I got at the 99 cent store. 
Okay, so for the shoulders, I have pet food scoops. Both were 99 cents. Just gonna chop off the handles. So that's it for the shoulder pieces, but I'm gonna attach them right to the chest piece so that it's all one unit. I'm just gonna zip tie it. So I'm gonna move on to the biceps, and these are gonna be plastic containers. So once these are painted, then I can zip tie them to the shoulder pieces. Moving on to the forearms, I'm gonna be making those out of cardboard. Something to keep in mind is this is all gonna get spray painted over, so feel free to use whatever miscellaneous stuff you have to get the details in there. So the forearms are ready to be painted, but before I do that, I'm gonna change it up and move on to the belts. There's a second belt that he has. I got this belt, 99 cent store. And again, using some plastic containers I got at the 99 cent store. I actually have this little tin, Star Wars tin, that I'm gonna put in there as an Easter egg. So I'm gonna need to paint these white before I attach them to the belt. He does have a black bag, so I got this as uh, dark blue. I'm gonna spray paint it black. While I wait for that paint to dry, I'm gonna make the cod piece out of this plastic container. So here's the cod piece. I cleaned it up with some tape, and it's gonna attach onto the belt like that, but first I gotta paint it white. So while that's drying, I'm gonna move on to the butt piece, butt plate. I'm not sure what it's called, but it protects the butt. And this is a serving bowl that I got from the 99 cent store. It's got a pretty good butt cupping contour. Gotta say, this is a first for me. So for the belt, I'm actually gonna put the buckle to the side so I can attach the boxes onto the front and then I still have access to the belts. So that's done. I think I'm gonna move on to the legs. The first thing I wanna do is kinda of get a measurement of my thigh. I think I'm gonna use some cardboard, much in the same way that I did the forearm pieces. So I did one piece, and now I'm gonna trace it onto another piece of cardboard, so I have two, I don't have to do this all twice. For the shins, I'm gonna use the same technique I did with the thighs. These shin pieces are way too skinny for me to fit my foot through, so I'm gonna to have to leave them cut in half, and I'm gonna use these buckles from these dog collars to attach them. These things are looking pretty legit with the clips, and they have like these spats on the bottom of the legs. It's a very specific shape. So once I have this shape figured out in the paper, then I'm gonna use that as a template to transfer to cardboard or whatever material I decide to use. So the legs are all finished up, and the last part for the body armor is gonna be the hands, the gloves. There's a little piece on the top of the hand which is gonna be these toy shovels. The last two pieces are ready to get spray painted along with the rest of the costume, so let's uh, head outside for some spray paint. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Here we are, all of the pieces are painted white. There are some black details on in little areas, so I'm gonna just do those with some black tape and some black marker. So he has a mechanism on his right thigh to hold his blaster in place, and what I have is a door lock. It's a chain door lock. What I'm gonna do is attach the base piece onto the thigh, and then the knob will get attached to the hand blaster. So I'm pretty stoked because I've had the idea to do this with a door lock for a long time, and I just have never had the opportunity, so now I get to try it out. All of the pieces are done, the blaster's done, and it's of course not a stormtrooper without the helmet. The helmet's pretty simple as far as the materials go. I have some foam sheets. This is EVA foam. I got some white and some black, our handy dog collars. Got some mesh fabric. This is also from the 99 cent store. And then this is a noisemaker. 
got at the 99 cent store. I'm gonna be using this to uh, create like the lip around the bottom because there is kind of a fat lip on the bottom. This is a helmet I got. It's like a soldier helmet, I think. I do have this clear mesh, which is shiny, and that might work for the goggles, I'm not sure, but we will play around with it when we get there. Before I start adding too much to this, I wanna get this chin strap in place. Gonna take care of that right away. It's the saddest helmet ever. So what I'm gonna do is make a whole base helmet out of cardboard that I'm gonna then add stuff to it to create the shapes. But with the blast shield down, I can't see anything. All right, I know it's looking pretty wacky right now, but once the foam gets on there, it'll fill in all this contours and look pretty awesome. So at the very bottom, there's a black mesh material and that's gonna be this, and then I'm gonna put the white elements on top of that. I'm using a scrap piece of foam that I have so that I can make a template, because I'm trying to get this eye shape just right. All right, now I'm gonna be putting the white foam on top of all of this helmet. I thought I could wing it, um, but it didn't work out, so I had to take all that stuff off, and I'm gonna need to make templates. So I'm gonna be doing those templates with some construction paper. Part of the tricky thing with helmets is the curvature, and so there's a kind of a technique that you can cut wedges out of paper like that, or material, and then you can fold it in, and it'll help you create that curve. As I go along, I'm numbering these so that I can remember what order they go in. <laughs> I really want to leave it like this because I think it looks awesome, but there are no rainbow stormtroopers in Star Wars, at least not yet, so I'm going to have to take all of this stuff off and then trace them onto my foam sheets. Got all of my stormtrooper puzzle pieces ready to go, and now it's time to attach them to the helmet. Got the helmet all wrapped with white foam, and now it's time to put on some of the details. Just gonna use some Sharpie and some black tape. Got the Stormtrooper helmet all wrapped in white foam, and I think everything is ready to go, so I'm gonna go get suited up. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think, I think I got to call one of the squad members. Dustin, help! Oh. Where, am I, guys? Where am I? Oh, oh, you need help? And so it's like clips way on the inside there. Yeah, we did it! Woo. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go. So I am insanely happy with the way this turned out and I can't wait to show it to the squad. All right, can't wait to see the finished Stormtrooper costume. Ready? Super excited, yeah. Okay, where's he at? Where is he? Where? Oh my <laughs> yes, this is so hey, awesome. wow. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Oh. Yes, he's a bad guy. Aren't you a little like long haired to be yeah. a stormtrooper? <laughs> Helmets. I'm the rebel stormtrooper. <laughs> Lots of little uh, plastic containers so you can yep. take your goodies um, yep. for lunch. They function. My favorite love part, that. I love the butt the butt plate back there. Yeah. yeah. The butt Pretty, plate. Uh, Everyone loves the butt plate. How, how secure is this? Oh. <laughs> These guns are awesome. The guns are just Nerf guns painted. Oh. That looks fantastic. So how much did you end up spending on this whole thing? Um, the whole costume was about $35, $40, um, nice. which was mostly in the helmet, which was about 15 Most of it's cardboard, which is totally free, so. <laughs> That's amazing. Cardboard and plastic. So that wraps up Costume Squad Season 1, but we're going to be back real soon. But it'll give you guys some time to think about what costumes you want to see us tackle and let us know in the comments. Yeah, and be sure and subscribe. We've got lots of cool video content to hold you over in the meantime. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. We yeah. will see you soon. See you soon. All right, move along. Move along. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs>